Hey guys, so this is a bit of a different video than I normally make, but I've had a few requests to go into some detail around how I make my videos, so I thought I'd make a quick tutorial. But in particular I'm going to be focusing on how to do the rain and thunder and lightning effects, um, you can see in the corner here. So, firstly you want to get your editing software, so I use Adobe Creative Cloud. So I primarily used um, Premiere Pro, um, After Effects, and Photoshop. You can probably use, if you're on um, Mac or Apple, you can probably use a different editing software and get a similar result, but this is just what I use. And you can um, get a free trial with Adobe, a 7 day free trial. If you just Google uh, Adobe Creative Cloud uh, free trial and you get all these um, different um, apps. Um, well, like I say, I only use um, Photoshop, Premiere Pro and After Effects. Um, it's also worth noting as well, it does make you put in your card details. So, just make sure you, you cancel after the uh, 7 days if you don't want to be charged. So, moving on to the tutorial. This is a video of a um, forest, a local forest near me that I shot probably 6 months ago or so. As you can see, it was quite a, a misty evening. Um, there's not really a lot to, to this clip, to be honest. Um, you could use probably get the same effect with a still image of a forest or something like that. But I just like the fact that you can see the, the leaves rustling, etc. Um, so what you want to do is drag that clip into After Effects. And there's a few things I want to do to um, edit this um, video to make make it fit in with the ambience of the of the video really. Because at the moment you can see it's a little bit too bright. So if you go over to the effects and presets panel on the right hand side and then you scroll down to um, colour correction and then scroll down to brightness and contrast and drag that on the video. So what I want to do now is play around with the, the brightness to just make it um, again a bit, make it fit in with the overall tone of the video and make it a little bit darker because I know people don't like it when the video is too bright. So I'm just sort of playing about with the brightness at the moment. I think I'll go with the lowest value it'll, it'll let me do, just because I think that looks uh, looks all right. That seems to work. And then what you want to do is you want to go to Effects and Presets and type in CC Rainfall. And you'll see that Rainfall, and you want to drag that over. As you can see, that gives a preset. Um, automatically puts a preset effect of rain on the video on the video so if I play that now you can see um, you can see little rain drops but if you look at the left hand side in the the rainfall panel it lets you adjust things like the number of raindrops the size of the raindrops the opacity which is how bright it is um, if I change that all the way up you can really see the raindrops if I move it all the way down you can't really see them so you probably want somewhere in the middle as I say, it's more just a case of playing around and deciding what um, what you think looks good um, on your video. So at the moment, I think I'm happy with that um, effect. Now I think it looks pretty realistic. Um, so what I want to go ahead and do is render that clip and just call it something um, that distinguishes it, like r rainforest or something because you'll need to distinguish it from the next clip we do. So now what I want you to do is take the same clip that you just rendered and put it back into After Effects so you can see I've got the same clip here. And then you want to go back to Preset, Effects and Presets and drag over the Brightness and Contrast effect again. And then what you need to do is, you can see the little stopwatch in the left hand side over the brightness. I want you to press the, the Alt key and hold down the Alt key and then left click that and you should see this um, little text appear here. Um, so what you want to do is get rid of that text and type in uh, wiggle open bracket and then you're going to put in two numbers. So wiggle is basically an effect that lets you change the brightness so it basically allows the brightness to fluctuate randomly. So you put wiggle, um, open bracket, and then the first number you put is in is 
it, this is how many times in a per second is the brightness going to change. So I'm going to put 10 for now. And then you put a comma and then the second number is by how much the brightness will change. So I put in 100, so that means the brightness will randomly fluctuate 10 times a second from zero brightness to 100 brightness. So you could change any of these numbers to get different results. Um, well, I could change the second number to a thousand, and if I just play that, uh, you can see that's quite a. Uh, there's a lot of contrast there because it's the brightness is changing a lot. Or I could change it to 500, and it'll be slightly lower. Or I could change the first number to 20, and it'll be flashing more rapidly because it's uh, flashing 20 times, changing brightness 20 times a second now. But I think I'll probably move that back to, uh, I'll try 15. So 15 seems to work. So once you're happy with the video, you want to go ahead and render that video as well. And just make sure you call it something different than the previous video, so you can distinguish between the two. So now you want to go over to Premiere Pro. As you can see, I've got the animation that I created, um, but the window area has just got the green screen. I won't go into detail about how I did the flickering lights and the candles and the fire, etc. Um, if you do, if you are interested in that, just let me know in the comments and I'll potentially create a um, video if people are interested. Um, so what you want to do now is um, drag in the two videos you've just rendered. So there's one which is just the rain and then there's another one which is the flickering um, brightness. Um, so you can see those here. As you can see the one on top at the moment is the rain. And as you can see the one below it is the same video but just with the flickering light. And you notice that it's important that both the clips are both the same length and they're both the same video basically, however one's just got the um, fluctuating brightness. So when you've done that and you've got the, the video you've created and then you, below it you've got the, the rain and then underneath that you've got the same video but with fluctuating brightness. You want to go over to video effects, down to keying, and then you want to go to ultra key. And then what we want to do is um, key out this green here. So we can see the the videos below it, behind it basically. So if you go over to the key colour on the left hand side. And you move that swab over to the green and then left click. Um, that will basically key out all that green area. So you can see that I've done that now and you can see the um, the video, the rain video behind it. So now what you want to do is you need to be looking at your audio. So as you can see where these spikes in audio, this is where the, the thunder is hitting. So what you want to do is basically um, go over to the, the rain um, animation and then come over to the razor tool wherever the there is a spike in audio where you know there's the, the thunder you want to basically cut out that bit and then delete that little section of the rain and what it'll do it will remove that bit so it'll be the same video but you'll be able, you'll be able to see the, the same video but just with the fluctuating brightness behind it so if I just play that now you can see that kind of gives the visual effect of some lightning. Um, so basically you just want to do that for um, the whole video. Um, so you just want to find all the spikes in audio and yeah, remove the rain bit. So you're exposing the, the, the video with the flashing brightness. So it kind of gives you the effect of lightning. And that is the end of the tutorial. So I hope that helps if any of you are trying to achieve similar sort of results in your own editing. If you've got any questions or any ideas for future tutorials, feel free to put them in the comments below. I'll also 